Installation of a 1500 litre graph platting tank with Garden Comfort Rainwater Harvesting System by SCP Environmental. In this video we will show you how to install a platting tank with a garden system from start to finish. Firstly we install the telescopic seal to the top of the platin. This needs to be pushed all the way around into position to create a watertight seal. The next part of the installation shown on the video is the host connection box. This is installed in the top of the telescopic mini PE lid. Basically this component is ideal if you're going to connect the system directly to a hose pipe or a garden irrigation system. Next, the excavation. Now with the platin tank, this is specifically designed as a shallow tank, so a shallow excavation is required, meaning time saved on installation and obviously money. As you can see, we've actually dug the excavation by hand. The area is levelled off and then we create a base for the tank to sit on. The manufacturer would recommend a H-stroke 16 granular gravel mix, so no concrete is required here. We would recommend here that the base is actually around 100 millimetres thick. And once the base is ready, the tank can be just lowered into the excavation, as shown here. The tank size shown here is actually 1500 litres, but the platins are available in 3000 litres, 5000 litres and 7500 litres, and they all come with a 15 year warranty. Once the tank is in, you'll then need to start backfilling. Again, this is just a granular gravel mix. Here Andy is putting the gravel into the holes of the tank and this is what will keep the tank in the ground. The gravel is tipped in and then compacted. The tank is, as you can see, backfilled almost to the top and as you are backfilling we would recommend that the tank is filled with water as you go. Next we need to arrange the pipework coming into the tank and out of the tank. Now if installation isn't for you and you need some help then SCP can provide an installation service. This will provide a 12 months contractor's warranty with the system so if we install it and anything happens then we will come out free of charge and rectify the system. Now with the platting tank itself, the holes are actually already pre-drilled and the system does come with DN100 seals which you can see actually just in the hole of the tank and this enables the pipework to be pushed easily through and it will also create a watertight seal. And as well as installation, if you think you can do the installation yourself but you would like us to check the system then we can do that as well, we can come out and offer a commissioning service or we can also offer a maintenance proposal whereby a contract is entered into for a minimum of five years, an annual payment is agreed and we will come out and monitor the system once a year to make sure that everything is okay. And within that five year period you will also get a tank clean out in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. Once this system is installed, the customer will be able to use their water for garden irrigation, but obviously there are domestic systems available whereby water can be used for washing machines, toilet flushing, garden irrigation and also general outside cleaning. This can save customers up to 50% on their main water charges.
Now we move on to the installation of the garden filter package. Now to do this we must cut out a section of the telescopic mini P lid as shown here. This just enables the easy installation and fitting of the lid and the filter. And once the section is removed it's a good idea just to smooth off the edges, obviously because some of that plastic will be sharp. Andy here is just applying some lube to the platin seal so the telescopic lid can be inserted nice and easily and as you can see from the actual picture he has already also inserted or installed the overflow siphon. This is provided with the tank package and again it's just a case of pushing the overflow out of the DM100 seal and the hole that is already provided. And now the lid's in and secure, pushed right in, we can move on to the installation of the filter. Now this basket filter is specifically for the garden system. It is suitable for roof areas of up to 200 square metres. Basically it will collect all of the leaves and debris that come off the roof through the downpipe filters. This basket filter is used in conjunction with the garden system. It is suitable for roof areas of up to 200 square metres. And the idea is that it collects any leaves or debris from the roof that enter the tank. It can be easily removed and periodically checked and cleaned if required. The filter, as you can see, comes with chains that are just installed onto the top of the filter and that chain is then securely fastened around a bracket that sits on the top of the telescopic lid. As you can see here, Andy is just winding the chain around the bracket just to make sure that it's securely in position and then tying it off as required. It is important here to make sure the bracket is nice and tight, obviously because we don't want the filter to be falling into the tank or moving around anywhere. This filter along with the pump comes with a two year warranty. Now the filter is installed we move on to the overflow and the outlet pipe work. First of all we need to insert the rodent guard which comes with the filter package. This prevents any animals going down or out of the system. Again you can see Andy just putting some, a small amount of lubricant into the pipe and then the rodent guard just slots into this section. This is then just fitted onto the overflow pipe work. Next we move on to the Garden Comfort pump package. This is an automatic pump. The pump is installed within the rainwater harvesting tank and comes with a dry running protection. And it operates automatically as mentioned before, so whenever there is a demand for water the pump will begin to pump. Now just to recap, deep excavation, install base, lower tank into the excavation, install the filter and the lid and the pump and then finish backfilling. Ensure all pipe work is level and then you can backfill those trenches as well as shown here. And then you can pave, block pave or lay grass around the tank.
and here is the finished installation. As you can see, the system is very discreet. And then when the system is required, a hose pipe can be connected directly to the hose connection box. And as soon as there is a demand for water, the pump will begin to pump. Enabling you to still water your plants even if there is a hose pipe ban.